What's going on YouTube? Gsno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the iOS 16 developer beta 1. Yes, it was just released by Apple. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a program that allows you to recover data from backups or iCloud and even from your device if you have important data there that is no longer retrievable. You can also repair various iOS system issues and even remove the screen time passcode. Check the program out in the link below, there's a free trial available. So today was the Apple WWDC 20 or Worldwide Developer Conference, which is held by Apple every year. And of course here they announced, amongst other things, the iOS 16. Now iOS 16 is astonishing, it comes with great things, including customizable lock screen for the first time on iOS. You can now have fonts on the lock screen, you can have widgets, a new style of notifications and so on. It has a lot of customization for the lock screen and in this video I'm going to show you how to get it. Well at first you're going to need your device. You should know that the devices supported by iOS 16 start from iPhone 8 this year. iPhone 7, 7 Plus and iPhone 6s and so on are no longer supported. So if you have an iPhone 8 or newer like iPhone 8, iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 10R and so on you will be able to install the iOS 16. Now this is developer beta so this is basically the very first beta to be issued only to the developers which means that it's going to have glitches and bugs. This is not necessarily meant for public use so if you're going to use it do expect some bugs. Now at first in order to do this you're going to need as I said your device and a profile or an IPSW. The way you officially get this is from developer.apple.com you press download here and you're going to have to log in. You do need to have an Apple developer account in order to get this. There are other sources in order to get the beta profile file but I'm not going to be able to mention them in this video for obvious reasons. The official way requires a paid developer account on the Apple developer website over here. Assuming you have the profile because you have a developer account or other means, I'm going to show you what to do next on the device. You don't need a computer at all for this, you can directly do this on the device, including the profile and stuff like that. Alright, so as you can see this is my device, I have it over here, it's running iOS 15.4 at the moment. So this device can indeed run iOS 16 beta because this one is an iPhone XS Max. So after you get the profile from the Apple Developer Network or other sources, you go here to settings and you should have something like this, profile downloaded. You press on it and it says this, install profile and you can see it's verified by Apple. So iOS 16 beta software profile, you press install and of course you insert your passcode. After you insert your passcode you're going to get in here the iOS beta, pre-release software, end user license, whatever. So you're going to press install and press install again and now you're going to have to restart the device. It says restart required. You can press not now but if you do not restart the phone the update will not show inside the software update center so you have to restart your phone. I'm gonna do that and be right back. Alright so after a quick restart you should have the feedback application over here which can accept the terms and conditions and so on. This one is present on all beta software so if you have the feedback application you know that you have a beta profile installed. Now you go here to settings and if you go here to general and software update you should now be able to get the iOS 16 developer beta 1 in here. So as you can see iOS 16 developer beta. And now all you have to do is to press download and install. Of course you're going to need your passcode and of course make sure that you do have enough battery or at least plug the phone in before starting the update. It's going to request the update as you can see over there it says update requested and that is basically it. You can now get the update no problem. It will install normally like any other update. As you can see it's going to take like seven minutes so I'm going to be right back once this finishes and at that point I will be on iOS 16 developer beta 1. Alright so finally the iOS 16 is now installed. You can see now we have another application called Fitness in there which is sort of like you have on Apple Watch but now with some functionality on iOS as well. And here on the bottom where we have the dots now we have the search button to go into Spotlight. Here on settings if you navigate you go here to general you can see that we have iOS 16. It says iOS 16 is up to date but the most important change is the lock screen customization and I'm going to show you how it works. So as you can see right now we're on the lock screen. Already the font is completely changed but if you press and hold here on the lock screen you get the option to customize your entire lock screen. You press plus in here and now you have all the customization from iOS 16. So I'm gonna go here with the color and you can see that we can even change the fonts over in here like this or like this and even like that. You can actually use the slider in order to change the color itself. You can even add widgets and stuff like that you can see from here like batteries. 
and I'm going to add this one over here as well and we can have widgets. I'm going to press done and that's it. This is now my lock screen and as you can see we have the notification center out here as well. I'm going to clear it and yeah that's it and there are many combinations you can do with this. So yeah that's basically iOS 16 in a nutshell. That's how you install it. Definitely check it out if you're not interested in jailbreaking but if you want to jailbreak do not install iOS 16. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Now. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.